Hello, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. It's Pilates with fall time. So let's go meet me on the mat. We're going to start sit it on a mat. So come towards the front of the mat and place your ball between your knees, so just slightly above the knees. And find ourselves in that beautiful, long, tall, upright alignment. Imagine as if you have a piece of string pulling you up. Right there. Okay, we in breath. Hands underneath the thigh. Exhale. Gently squeeze the ball and take yourself into that C curve. Inhale. Lengthening. Exhale. We go into the C curve. In breath. Lift. Two more. Exhale. And in breath. Last one. Exhale. And in breath. Let's take it further. Exhale to the C curve. Then we're going to roll back. Try to get that sacrum onto the floor and the lower spine onto the floor when there's no turning back. And then pull ourselves back up again. And we'll lift. Two more. C curve. And anchor the feet as you roll back to the floor in breath. Exhale. Come forward. And the left. One more time. Exhale. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back in breath. Exhale. Come forward. And inhale. We lift. Next one, we're going to take ourselves to the floor here. So we're going to C curve and we roll back, go to the floor, get the lower back on the floor, and then bring the feet closer towards you. Arms long by the side and just get yourself down onto the floor. Maybe shuffle down. All right, now I want you to bring your feet together and the ball is still between the legs here. What we're going to do is some inner thigh squeezes to then activate our deep abdominal muscle here. So we in breath, exhale, squeeze like you are nutcracker. We're going to squeeze the nuts between the legs. At the same time, your deep abdominal muscle is drawing in and unrelaxing. Again, exhale, squeezing. You're going to feel that pelvic floor muscle lifting up and the tibia muscle drawing in and Again, we squeeze, feet are together. All right, I wanted to squeeze so much like as if you're going to burst that ball, right? And you know, here's a little secret. This particular exercise is the best one for post-birth recovery. So train the inner thigh, training the pelvic floor, training to get the TVA in, waking up that center. So if you have a friend, who is just given birth and wanting to recover back from um, post-birth, rehabilitate the abdominal, this is to go exercise. Again, exhale, inner thigh, pelvic floor, TBA, and two more, squeezing. And okay, last one, squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right, and let it go. Have your feet apart this time for the pelvic curl. So we in breath, exhale, deflate the belly, allow the back to sink on the floor. And then you press the feet. We're going to peel the spine up to that bridging position. I want you to really reach the thigh away and then the neck length in opposite direction and the fingertips reaching to your feet. Then we exhale, we roll it down. All the way, vertebrae by vertebrae, and back down to the floor. Again, we breathe out, we draw in, center, imprint that lower back, and then use this, guys, to help yourself up, lift up to that bridging position in breath. Exhale, allow the neck to lengthen away as the spine articulate down to the floor. Deep curl in the spine and release back to your starting position. Let's give me two more. Exhale. 
we reach, we lengthen, we lengthen even more. Exhale, we roll it back, roll it back, roll it back. And the last one, please. Exhale, we roll up, reach it up, reach it up, reach it up. Stay, hold that heart, squeeze the ball for me. Again, two and three. I'm gonna count in Indonesia, I'm gonna teach you. Four, that's empat. Five, lima. Enam, six. Tujuh, delapan, that's eight. Sembilan, last one, sepuluh, hold. And breathe out, roll down again. Let's do that one more time. And let's count in Indonesian. So, you know, learning Pilates and learning Indonesian at the same time. So exhale, let's roll it up. Bring it up, bring it up to your highest point and squeeze for 10. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, keep the neck long here. Lima, I know your thighs are feeling it. Enam, it's good. Tujuh, lapan, sembilan. Last one, 10, squeeze, hold it. And let's go roll it down. All right, I know they're burning. Good, 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 and release. Okay, now drop the ball. I want you to place the ball on your left foot or underneath the left foot. So we're gonna go into the pelvic curl again. So I want you to fold or mold your foot over the ball, like a bird on a perch here. Now here, pelvic curl yourself up again. So curl, roll up. I want you to keep the pelvis even and press down on that left foot on the ball. So you know, feel that left hamstring firing up even more on fire, literally. And we go down. The ball just creates a little bit more stable base here. So give you a bit more challenge. Exhale, we curl, we press the feet, one on the ball, one on the floor, we lift up to the bridge. We wanna keep the pelvis even here. Exhale, roll it down and release. Again, exhale, we roll up. So imagine you are a slide, right? And then your child is gonna slide from the knee down to your chest. It's gonna be a beautiful straight line. It's gonna fire up that bottom, lift it up and down. Brilliant, let's go one more time here. Yeah, next exhale, roll up, curl up, curl up, curl up, curl up. Press the foot down, the left foot, lift up a little higher. And your leg is shaking. Well, my leg is shaking, how's your leg? And come down, okay. Now here, so I want you to gently press the ball again, but I just want you to lift the hip up. About a fist, so keeping the spine rather long here. And I stabilize the pelvis. Now we go, extend the left leg. Cool, bring it in. You glide, the pelvis stays at the same height. Glide, and bring it in. Two more. Bring it in. Last one. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. And lower. Roll the ball to the other foot. Okay. Then press the foot gently on the ball. This is my right foot. Okay, here we go. Let's pelvic curl. Up, up, up to that bridge. Create a slide. And Roll down and release again. Roll up. I don't know if your mother, right? This is what happened here. If I, whenever I do this pelvic curl, roll down. My daughter, Kaya, will climb up onto my knee, my thigh, and she's gonna pretend that I'm a slide here. So it's gonna, as I roll up, I'm gonna hold it to the top and it's gonna slide down down through front of my body and onto my chest. And she goes again, 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 and roll down. So I am a playground for her. So this is the exercise that she will climb all over me and roll up. Last one here, we're gonna press that ball down. We'll create a nice, big, tall slide for your child and roll it down. At least that's for me. All right, now we're gonna go into that hip lift. So 
Just lift the pelvis a fist off the floor, but create that length here first. So you're not tucking the bottom. Stay along. Then you're going to slide the right leg away. Keep the pelvis stable. Then bring it in. And again, out. And bring it in. And out. And pull it in. And two more. Last one. Reach. Come back, lower down, lower, stabilize, lower. Good, pick up the ball with your foot, with your feet, and bring it onto between your knees. Half it together, open your arms up to T position. All right, spine twist to pine. We anchor the shoulders down, rotate your legs to me from the waist in breath. Exhale. Imagine your legs, a screen wiper in the car. Right, so you're going to just rotate, wipe the rain from your car, the screen, with that wipers. So over to one side, exhale. Move from the waistline here, in breath. Exhale, you can even think, draw a rainbow with your legs as you rotate right and left. You're gonna anchor the shoulders down. Exhale, come back to the center. Again, inhale. Exhale, come back to the center. Last one, or last set, in breath. Exhale, come back. And last one. Exhale, come back. Okay, and then we just lower the legs down and take the ball with your hand. No, keep the ball there, feet down. We're going to transition gracefully. Take your arms overhead. And we come up to the chest lift, grab the back of your thigh. Breathe out, bend the elbow, pull yourself up, 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 and we'll lift. Now take the ball in your hand and place the ball in the middle of the back here. So I want you to just gauge yourself there. All right, here we go. So you could place it in between the shoulder blade. You could bring it a little bit lower. So wherever you feel comfortable, um, with the ball underneath you. Have your feet parallel still, interlace your hands, back of your head. I want you to support your head here with your arms, like as if you are on a hammock here. So keeping the neck long. And then we're going to take our spine over the ball into extension. Ah, that feels amazing. And Lift up as you breathe out and tremor in your center and inhale. Allow your spine to mold over the ball. Exhale to live and lengthen, live and lengthen and shake away. And in breath over the ball. Exhale. You know, I've done it so many times, but every time as I do this chest lift, it never fails to tremor my abdominal. So it's good. Exhale. We shake. Keep the neck long here. So I want you to really create space between your ears and your shoulder here. And inhale. And as you come out, let's take the right foot up, uh, right knee up. Just give yourself a little bit more challenge here. Inhale, we lower. And same leg again. Exhale, shake. Inhale, lower. Exhale. In breath. Exhale, last one. And now we're going to switch leg here. Exhale, other leg up. In breath. We lower the leg, open the chest. Exhale. Stay long, stay long, stay long. In breath. Again, exhale. Stay long. If you are shaking a lot like I am, that's good. All right, next minute, we're working. We're working deep here. And in breath. 
Last one here. Exhale. Shake is good. That's it. And then come back. All right, we're going to add some rotation. Go over the ball. Now, rest you come up, rotate your chest over to me. Right, so direction is about 45 degrees in front of you here. So I'm going to aim for the plant there. And I'll come back over the ball and over to the other side. Exhale. There. Keep your gaze with it. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up. In breath. And again. Exhale. In breath. Let's do one more each side. Exhale. And in breath over the ball. Last one. You gotta reach, 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 reach. In breath. And you know what? We're gonna add the leg. So we're gonna go over and face me and bring that leg up. And down. Other side. Stay with me here and lift. In breath. I know we're feeling it. Stay with me. Exhale. To me. Can we get this pelvis stable there? In breath. Exhale. We'll lift. And down. Again. Exhale. We'll lift. And down. And last one. We'll lift. And back. 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 And let's come up again. Hands behind the thigh. Use your arms. Deep scoop in the abdominal. And let's lift and curl up. 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 Excellent. Grab the ball. Straighten the legs. Arms forward over your legs for the roll up here. So gently press the ball. <laughs> I can feel sweat of oh, my sweat on the ball there. It's going to wipe a little bit. And we're going to go into that C curve. Then we're going to roll back, get the sacrum onto the floor, roll back onto the floor. Then let's take the arms and the ball overhead. We in breath. Exhale, we lift, go into that C curve, C curve, C curve, pull back in the abdominal. And exhale, we roll back, C curve on the floor, roll back on the floor, and take the arms. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, pull, pull up and over. Again, exhale, roll back. Arms overhead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come on up into that C curve. Last one here. Exhale, we roll back. Arms overhead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we come up, come up, come up, and lift the spine tall. Let's place the ball between the ankles and the thigh for our rolling like a ball here. You want to squeeze the ball and keep the shape of the legs. All right, hands in front of your, just above the ankle. Now, curl the spine, lock the arms in. The feet are floating here, you balance on your tailbone. All right, rolling like a ball. We roll to the shoulder, do not fling the legs, otherwise you're gonna lose the ball there. Inhale, we roll, exhale. Inhale, we roll. Exhale, three more. Roll, squeeze the ball here. As you come up, use the abdominal muscle. And yes, there will be a slight momentum, but I don't want you to throw yourself up to come up. Last one, can we do it? And brilliant. Okay, let's take the feet down. Take the ball in your hands, single leg stretch and crisscross. Now I warned you, the crisscross is gonna be really challenging. We're going to definitely feel abdominal after this. So we take the arms forward, we roll back, roll back to the chest lift position, drag the legs, there. Extend the right leg, the leg closer to me. We switch, we switch. 
Try to keep the feet at the same height. Shh. We got five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Pull both legs in. Now I want you the ball to be just around the knee there, but I want the ball to stick out a little bit here. All right. And then I want to just go down for a second here. All right, just adjust the ball here. All right, now have your hands interlace behind your head. So this is the crisscross. We exhale, we'll lift high, high, high. We bring the elbows forward. We're gonna sort of balance the ball between with the elbows and the, and the knees. Now extend the leg away from me, open the elbow closer to me, we rotate. We pull everything in and we rotate and we pull everything in and we rotate in breath rotate stay with me here in breath exhale lift high in the chest it will help you to be able to hold the ball and rotate and center I'm losing the ball out and out Whoa, lost it and out, which means I'm not lifting high enough. And in, out, one more each side, out, last one, out, come back, come back, and release. Excellent, how did you go? My abs is on fire. All right, excellent. Let's bring the ball underneath the pelvis. I tell you, I'm gonna feel it today because I just shot a one hour class just before I shoot this class. So, okay, all right, abdominals, stay with me. Now, have your feet down on the floor. The ball will be underneath the pelvis here. Okay, we're going to lift the leg closer to me up to the tabletop. All right, find stability in the pelvis here. Straighten the leg up to the sky. We lower this leg down, flex up for the shoulder bridge here, and down, out, down, inhale, down, inhale, and you can even take it down to the floor. So touch the floor and kick up, touch the floor and kick up, exhale, kick up, exhale. Imagine you're in Moulin Rouge, right? You gotta kick that leg high and kick the leg down and kick it up. Two more, and up, last one, and up, stay, we bend, and then we lower, and then we bring the other leg up. So let's just call it Broadway leg, how's that? So we're gonna extend, reach that beautiful long Broadway leg. We go, we kick, reach, lengthen, and up, exhale, and up, exhale, and up, reach and open the hip and up, open the hip, and up, exhale, and up, exhale, and two more, and last one, and up, we bend, I want you to straighten the other leg down on the floor, and flex that foot, and pull the thigh close to your chest, and we're just gonna stretch for a moment here, so I've got my right leg down on the floor, I'm stretching and opening the front of my right hip here, and so allow, allow the spine to melt into the ball and into the floor. Like a melted chocolate, like a melted ice, melted ice cream. Whatever imagery that works for you to release the pelvis and the spine so you can get a good stretch in front of the hip. All right, we switch, lower that leg down, stretch it on the floor and bring the other one up. We flex the open leg side. We pull the other thigh to your chest. And like a melting chocolate, a gooey cheese, you're going to allow the pelvis to curl under and the spine to be one with the ground. In breath, exhale. And again, exhale. One more, one more breath. 
Exhale. Bring the leg in. Bring the foot down. And let's take the ball away off your bottom and turn to the side. And let's go to the side lift. The ball will go in between the ankle. You learn, you turn yourself onto the side. Okay. Now here, I want you to have a little bit space underneath the waistline here. Got it. And we lift high in breath. We lift in breath. And lift high, 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 high. Two more. Last one. We're going to stay there. We're going to squeeze for 10. Let's count in Indonesian. Squeeze the ball. Satu. Dua. Tiga. Empat. Lima. Enam. Tuju. Lapan. Sembilan. Sepuluh. Hold it. Can we lift up a little higher? Yes, we can. Okay. And come down. All right. Bring the legs in. Come up, other side. So, we're doing Pilates and learning Indonesian at the same time. How good is that? Killing two birds at one go. All right, so set ourselves for the side lift. Proud chest, pull away, and lift. Bam, awesome. Okay, let's go. Lift. And can we be really, really long? You know, Inspector Gadget, back in my era, I, can you, I hope you can relate with me. Inspector Gadget, he has limbs that can stretch out as long as he wants. So I'm thinking my legs are like Inspector Gadget legs. And if you don't know who is Inspector Gadget, I want you to Google up after this. And lift. I grew up with Inspector Gadget, so. And last one, the hand hold it. 10 counts. Let's go. One. Count with me. Dua. Tiga. Empat. Lima. Enam. Tuju. Lapan. Sembilan. Sepulu. Hold it. Lift up. Higher, higher, higher. And come on down. Awesome. All right. Bring the ball in. Okay. Back extension. Serious exercises. I want you to place the ball just the lower part of your rib cage. Lift that breast up and place the ball underneath. Ew. Okay. Elbows on the side. Forearm on the side. Legs are long behind you. Like a snake tail. Now, we're going to just mold our body over the ball. Okay. From here, I want you to keep the legs reaching away, glide the shoulder blades down, and think about we're playing 10 pin bowling. You're going to press the ball down, you're going to push the ball forward, forward, forward in front of you, and hoping you get a strike. Forward and up. There, perfect. And we go, bring the ball, tuck it underneath you again. And inhale, gliding the shoulder blades down, pressing the ball to the floor and push it forward and up. You come up, the ball doesn't come up, the ball go forward. And bring it underneath here. Let's go two more times here. It's a great assistant here to get into that back extensors. There we go. Make sure the neck is long though, so you don't want to poke the chin forward. And bring it underneath you. Okay, one more. In breath, reach the ball down and forward, down and forward, down and forward, down and more forward. That is always more. More is more here and bring it down. Let's go to a breast stroke. So you got the motion here. As you come up, you bring the forearm off the floor here. So mimicking your back. We stretch, arms open. Can we pull more? We bend the elbow and we come back down. 
Again, inhale, ball goes down and forward. The back comes up. We reach. We open. Can we pull up a little bit more here? We bend the elbow and we bring your body down. Again, inhale. I really, really love how the ball assists us and support us in our extension and make us work a little bit more and a little bit deeper. Again, inhale, lifting. Okay, checkpoint. Are we lifting up our abdominal so our lower back can stay belong? Bend the elbows and come down. One more time here. And lift up the abdominal as you come up into your extension. All right, make this the best one yet. Lift up more, more is more here. And bend the elbows, got it. And come back. Brilliant, okay, now push the floor away. And take yourself to a rest position. You can just move the pelvis left and right. Okay, breathing in and breathing out. And slowly, slowly we roll up, roll up and come up. And you did amazing. You did great. Thank you for joining me for the whole class. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.